Okay, let's let's plot it. So plot results. So I'm going to create a new figure. This is not necessarily now because I did matplotlib import star. It's going to be able to do all these MATLAB plots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a subplot. I'm going to I'm going to stack three comma one. So I'm going to do um, a, V, and Y, one on top of the other. So I'm going to have three plots. The first plot, so I'm accessing three, one, one. One is going to be three, is a three rows, one column of figures. And then the one is I'm accessing the first one or the, the top one. So now I'm going to um, plot. Time is the X variable and um, a hat as actually um, a hat times a under source star so what I'm doing is I'm time I'm gonna go back in time hat so what I'm doing is um, I'm going to put in a Y label, acceleration in meters per second squared. I'm going to hit run. I'm going to run this, see if it goes through. It's saying something like something wrong with modules not callable. So let's see what did I do it should work um, so there might be an error in front of this and I'm gonna um, abort this video but I'm gonna keep it um, live because this is this is what happens this is debugging and this is why you run it um, frequently um, let me take that out. I don't necessarily subplots not defined. So maybe now I'm worried. Maybe the import star didn't work properly. So let me um, dot pi plot. How do I know? I remember this. I've had this problem before. So let me let me keep the video. I think that was the problem. I didn't. If I run it, oh yeah. So here we have. Not very interesting because it's just plotting. Um, uh, so I'm going to go full screen and it's not doing what I think time hat is not. Oh, because it's T hat. Sorry. So T hat times T star. Debug it. Okay, so there it is. So it's showing that the acceleration is, is negative. 0.52 meters per second squared and um, does that look right oh yeah I have I have um, if I make it the little m to be 5 it's going to be the same thing but it's going to be higher if I make little m to be 0 it should give us minus 9.81 and we'll put it back at 5 okay great so now that's the first plot. Let's add, now I'm not going to label that with the X axis because I'm going to do that when I'm done. So subplot three comma one, because this we're in this, I don't know if you mismatch what happens here, but you get, you want to make this match what you had before the three and the one, but now two is the next one. So now I'm going to plot T hat times T star. And then I'm going to plot V, hat times v star 
And what I'm doing is I'm, I, the solution is in dimensionless variables, but I'm uh, just putting the formulas in here to turn it into uh, units and dimensions. And if I wanted to do it in feet, feet per hour or miles per hour, you can actually just put your formulas right in here into the plot and keep, and keep your source code nice and clean like that. And we'll just run that, make sure it does what I think it does. And we see the velocity decreases linearly and it ends up at minus four meters per second. And finally, subplot three comma one comma three to access the last plot. And then we'll do plot t hat times t star comma y hat times y star and y label um, height of m in meters and I'm gonna I, you could do this on a separate line but I'll do a comma x label um, and I'll call this time seconds and now I'll put the axis on the bottom I hit run and uh, it didn't uh, it didn't show that label that last label why not um, because something funny is here why anybody see my bug um, so I'm seeing like this this doesn't line up right with the time and there's something hidden that I'm not seeing hmm. looks to me like it defined uh, oh should give me an error. Oh yeah, Y star is not defined. What was Y star? H. Um, I might need to revise that slide. I didn't have Y hat in there, or did it? Um, F5. And there we have it. So we have the height goes from 2.5, boom, it hits at zero. The total time is 1.2. If I, um, were to make the little mass nine and run it it's going to look exactly the same but the numbers just it just spreads out and the velocity it hits is very different and then the last thing i want to do is type save fig and do um todd underscore one dot png and that will create a PNG file that I can do and, and import. Alrighty, so that's the basic. Uh, that's a that's a that's it. So practice, and I will practice doing these videos.